da 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 I used to really hate this piece. It was my nightmare piece and I never thought that I would play it one day. When you start learning the piano, then of course it's one of the most popular pieces, but also it is so much misused as a ringtone. As you start playing it, people start laughing. And then, and then you hear kind of this, oh, moment where they realize that there are other melodies in the piece they don't know. And then they realize, actually, it's a really nice piece. I remember sitting at the piano, sitting down at the piano and trying it out. And then it was such a beautiful piece. Of course, it is a beautiful piece because Beethoven has written it. But somehow we, we are used to hear it in such a, you know, um, ugly, ugly form. The biggest problem um, in playing for Elise not only as an adult, but also uh, as a child, I think, is already in the very, very beginning, most of the people would start playing da 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 de da de da da but it, it doesn't start like da da de da de da 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 It goes like ya da de da de da de da 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 And this gesture already changes so much. Musical gesture is very often something that's underestimated. When I started learning the piano, it was something that was not taken care of. And if maybe my teacher back then would have have taught, taught me a little bit more about musical gesture, I would have loved that piece. I think the most important thing as, as, a, as an interpreter, as a performer, is that you're really 200% convinced of what you're doing. It's not just about playing some popular pieces. For me, it is very important that there is a storytelling and that there is a concept, and I'm involved in every little detail. You know, it's so much about, you know, learning the notes, but it's not about how to play the notes. And, you know, you can hit the right note and still it can be wrong. When they say technique, they mean something like playing the right notes as fast as possible, as loud as possible. That's that's like virtuosity is somehow seen as, you know, man being manually perfect. But this is not technique. This is not virtuosity for me. For me, it is actually really finding uh, the best way to to produce the sound you imagine. Mm -hmm.